Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to link an AD400 lock to a PIM400 TD2. The PIM400 TD2 is a weakened output PIM and can only link to two locks at a time. You can see the two link buttons marked Link 1 and Link 2. The first step is to put the PIM into link mode. I will be linking this lock to Link 1, so I will press and release the Link 1 button to put the PIM into link mode. You can see the LED next to the link button start flashing red and green, indicating that the PIM is in link mode. The next step is to put the lock into link mode. To do this, push and hold the interior lever to create a request to exit and present a credential. If the reader has a keypad, you can hit the pound key. Keep the interior lever pressed in until you see the Schlage button flash red, green, red, green, red, green. And when the Schlage button starts flashing green rapidly, the linking process has begun and you can let go of the lever. You will also see the LED next to the link button on the PIM flash green rapidly as well. When the flashing stops, the lock will beep at you confirming the RF channel the lock is linked to. In this case, it is linked to radio frequency channel three. To confirm the link, you can perform a series of functions on the lock, like pressing and releasing the exterior lever. You will see the LED next to the link button flicker at the same time. Same with the interior lever. When you present a credential to the reader, you will also see the link LED flicker indicating that the lock is communicating with the PIM. And now I have confirmed that the 8400 and the PIM 400 TD2 are linked. If you have any further questions, you can contact us at these contact points here. Thanks, and have a fantastic rest of your day.